The internet exists for two reasons. The first one is to Google things that you probably know the answer to, but you're not sure, but you want to double check. And the second reason is to suffer needlessly at the hands of these trillion dollar uh, Silicon Valley tech giants. Yeah! We're gonna be doing the latter today because suffering in unison is one way to build a lifelong bond that is unbreakable. And that's what I'm trying to build here with you guys. The Snapchat discover page. Uh, it's what millions of teenagers are logging into daily to get their dose of uh, smooth brain content. I imagine there's like maybe 0.5% of it that's funny and the rest of it is just the, the equivalent of uh, lobotomizing our youth, opening their brains and funneling a bunch of sludge in there to turn them into fucking useless members of society. I'm guilty of it. I mean, we're all guilty. What is social media but just numbing our brains? So let's go through it, suffer together, see what we can find here. Relationship memes, vacuuming her lips so she can't kiss other guys. This is gonna be, this is gonna be so lit. Oh, oh. my God! My girl. It's dark, I think. Did, did you guys see my cooch in my butt? Say yes if you did. Three things that what are is happening? Your hard earned money. Are you pay can you follow this? It's, everything's what? happening so fast. What are you doing? I got a pretty little hand. Me being cadaver squares, my girlfriend tracks every step I take. But does your boyfriend play cars on your ass? I'm trying to clean up the you taking a nap in the middle. I'm trying to clean up in the vacuum accidentally sucked on you. That wasn't my fault. That's your fault for I don't I don't I can't Hold on, is there <sighs> This is happening so fast, dude. My brain, I'm having trouble keeping up. I don't know if it's because I'm ancient or if there's no punchlines, if they're supposed to be related, or if they're just fucking pop, pop. One after the other, meme, meme, relationship meme, five seconds, three seconds. They just don't give you a chance to, to think. That's the whole point, I guess. Putting a rye egg in my boyfriend's orange juice prank. Putting a rye egg in my orange boy, okay. About to be a how I broke up with my so dumb ex bitch prank. Okay, well, Andres, ready, set, go. Honestly, you wouldn't even be able to taste the egg, but the consistency's gonna be nasty. <laughs> It's not even. You didn't even. Bruh. <laughs> you will get egg in your eye. I don't know if you want to throw that one. Oh. He didn't even eat the egg. He didn't even drink the egg. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just keep. It's not a prank if he doesn't actually ingest the egg. Zero delivery whatsoever. This is not. All right, this is just not for me. We gotta. We gotta do better than this. Snapchat discover. No one cares about relationship memes, those are stupid. The baby's jacked. Dude, look at the size of this three-year-old. All right, so they basically bait, like, they... Wait, where did that baby go? Where'd the baby go? There he is, there he is! Wait, what? Who is this baby? That's it? There's no explanation, they just use it as clickbait, and then they... Now it's softball? Like, what the fuck is happening? What is happening on this goddamn app? So they get you sucked in because this fucking three-year-old is super jacked, and then it's just like spam of like three-second clips of people flexing and shit. Is this how we consume things now? Is this what it takes to keep people's attention? Is this how fucking brain-fried we've become? None of this makes sense. I just imagine everyone just like sitting home. I'm so fucking bored. I'm so bored. And everything has to be ingested in fucking two and a half second clips or your brain can't handle it. You gotta love this clickbait. The doctor crawls into the ocean to save a stingray. With that photo right there. I'm being honest, I see something I'd crawl into, but it isn't an ocean. <laughs> And you know what else I'd like to crawl into? Uh, today's sponsor segment, which is why we're gonna talk about ExpressVPN. Uh, thanks for listening. There's a reason why ExpressVPN is rated the number one VPN by well-known publications like CNET, TechRadar, and Wired. Their servers are the fastest on the market, they're reliable, and they're so easy to use that my 69-year-old mother could do it. And trust me when I tell you, she barely knows what a web browser is. Bless her sweetheart. But truly, I love it because it keeps my data secure and allows me to browse the internet anonymously 
so that my data isn't sold to the highest bidder and weaponized against me in the form of targeted ads, which happens all of the time. But even cooler, you can use it to circumvent geo restrictions on your favorite streaming platforms like Netflix. For example, I love South Park, but son of a bitch, they don't offer it in the USA. But guess what? They offer it in Australia, so I just fire up ExpressVPN, connect to an Australian server, refresh the page, and boom, I'm watching episodes of South Park in just a few clicks later. At home or on the go, ExpressVPN has an app for whatever device you're using, your laptop, your PC, your cell phone, and at less than seven bucks a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee, there's never been a better time to try it out. So take back control of your data and your streaming options and find out how you can get three months free by clicking my link in the description box below. That's expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and thank you ExpressVPN for supporting YouTubers that we love. We appreciate you. You won't believe these TikTok trends. I bet you I will. Okay, that was fun. I mean, that I believe. <laughs> Does that actually work? Anything okay, for views. We already know this is a bad idea. We have a match here. All right, ready? Three, two. Uh, oh, it's uh, so hot. I'm scared. Putting it out oh, with your tongue? It's hot. What's he I'm just going to go for it this time. I'm just going to go for it. Or ready? is it something else? Three, He's two, one. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I actually did it! It didn't hurt! Alright, so if you take a bottle... Guys, 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 I don't know, I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're worthy, you're beautiful, you matter. No, I'm just kidding. You're probably a piece of shit degenerate like I am. But if you didn't know you could put a match out on your tongue, you're, you're an idiot. Everybody, like, fire. You just, uh, there's no way to explain. If you didn't know that that wouldn't hurt, like, you're an idiot. That's all. It's the same way you can lick your fingers like this and squeeze out a candle flame. Like, it's very, it's not in rocket science. Everyone knows this shit. Oh. All right, so if you take a bottle of Coke and you put it over the candle right here, it creates this cool vacuum effect where it sucks up the liquid. Sure. Just like that. But this is cool. As it burns the exciting, oxygen. Kind of slow, kind of boring. But what's cool is if you take some rubbing alcohol and you pour a little bit in the Coke and then you shake it around and then uh... you put it on top of the candle. Oh, oh my gosh, it's much more exciting. I don't know if exciting is the word I would use. I love this this vein of content that is is hugely popular on um, like Facebook and I, mean, I guess it's been popular for years even on YouTube where people look up you know like f fourth grade science experiments, second grade science fair projects, and they turn them into fucking YouTube videos. Add a little bit of food coloring to it, and the shit bangs. I don't know why. I guess it makes for good clickbait, but. I've always noticed that like the shit you used to see at like your second grade science fairs, like, oh my God, add this sulfuric acid and it makes a fucking volcano and 60 billion views. Ooh! Carrie, oh, what the fuck? Carrie, what the fuck? CEO entrepreneur, born in 1964. <laughs> Bro, hold up. I don't know. I finally found proof that birds are battery powered drones. CEO entrepreneur, born in no, that seagull is dead ass riding the other seagull, though. That's fucking. This is good. This is good. Oh! My man had the distance, though. Where? Oh! Ah! Wait, Griddle! <laughs> Bro, why is there a black bear Jesus in the house? Christ. Did you come in from the hot tub? You fix yourself a ham sandwich, a little bit of mustard, shredded lettuce, like a couple of pickles on there, and just a black bear comes fucking strutting down from the second floor. It's time to abort. You take the sandwich, you get the fuck out of there. I guess at that point, the black bear owns the house. There's nothing you can do. You've lost your house. It might be time to find a new one on, <laughs> on Zillow. Uh, Dom, you got a big spider on your back, dude. Whatever, dude. Um, no, for real. Dom. You got a big spider on your back. Oh, I just got the chills, dude. I, you know what? I don't get skeeved out by much. Centipedes? No, God! Can burn in hell. And spiders? Close second place. 
I understand, but but Leon, spiders are good for the ecosystem, and they make silk, and they they capture other bugs and catch all the fuck. I don't give a shit. They're disgusting and they're gross. And I want them all to die. Heal yourself. Here we go. Satisfying. Uh... Push your knees together. Push hard. It's gonna be a chiropractor Push. one. Oh my god. Funny. <laughs> Ow. Like the fuck, a big toe adjustment? Like dead eye, when's the last time someone was like, man, I've been struggling these past couple weeks with a uh, a tight big toe. <laughs> gotta go to the chiropractor, gotta get the old big toe adjusted. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're getting married? Better get that big toe adjusted. Don't wanna fucking trip over your big toe when you're walking down the aisle. Oh, oh God. No, no. Shut the fuck up. Why Lana Rhodes is number one. Who's Lana Rhodes? How she got this bump will blow your mind. I doubt it, but yo, this kid, <laughs> this kid rips, dude. I've definitely seen this. <laughs> it's just nothing funnier than him selling out off the top rope to Kendrick Lamar in the background. Yay! I can watch that 1,000 times. Welcome to Body Shop. If you think I'm crazy, you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay. Oh! Impressed. Dude, fuck that. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Fuck that. I didn't see that again. That car was flying, dude. That car was going like 50 miles an hour, bro. He would have got fucking wrecked if he fucked that up. What? Okay, show me. I don't want to hurt you. What? No, just show me. Just show me. Okay. How is that? <laughs> <laughs> this one's good. We found a diamond in the rough, baby. How is that? Boys and girls, we found an absolute diamond in the rough. These are, these are fucking good. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Bro, what is going on with that? No. Please be fake. Thank you, God. What's a really weird thing that your body does that you're not sure anybody else's body does? Here. I'm gonna find a joint in my neck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh my God, no, dude, The Magic Show. Did you guys, I think, I made a Snapchat video like a year ago and this was one of the main features of it and it was painful back then. I imagine not much has changed, but this show gets so many views. She has no idea what's about to happen. This will be a great reminder not to hold your dog with one hand, maybe. She's gonna steal the dog. I'll replace it with the stuffed one. Nice, nice, yeah, that's good. I'd love to be in the writer's room for this one. I can't wait to see her reaction. She's gonna be blown away! Wait for it. Her reaction is priceless. Like and thumbs up, guys. Follow The Magic Show for more great content. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hurry up! Hurry up! How many... She's dead ass. I've clicked through three times. Still doesn't notice. Bruh. Still going. I've clicked through like seven of these snaps. Oh, there we go. This is the worst. This is the worst kind of tumor right here on the internet. Surprise, <laughs> 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 motherfucker. <laughs> oh. 
it's fucking the, what's this guy's name fucking what's this guy's name uh rich rich whatever he's like the he is the he is the head orchestrator he's the he fuck it's fucking close fuck he's the um he's like the rich something rich lax y'all know rich lax you've seen the drew Gooden video he's like the the maestro of all of the micro content that is completely aids on facebook and snapchat and he's like made millions of dollars from it, but I want him and every one of his associates and everyone that's worked for him to produce this fucking malignant tumor of a channel just to line up. And I want to go down the line one at a time, just. There's a little something for everybody on the Snapchat Discover. And if you ever need a lesson in how to clickbait, this is an excellent resource. In the age where people are afraid to sit down for a second without stimulation and be with their own thoughts, because that's scarier than pretty much anything else, Snapchat is the perfect alternative because you can go on and just rapid fire have all of these two to three second clips injected into your frontal lobe with no stopping and no slowing down. And they'll even sneak like an advertisement in there and you won't even notice it's happening. Uh, and the next thing you know, you've watched 367,000 videos and 444,000 advertisements in the course of an hour, uh, and your brain slowly starts to atrophy, and the world keeps on spinning. <laughs> but there were a few gems in there, though. Surprise, motherfuckers. Thank you guys for being here with me, though, as always. If you want to uh, do me a favor and yourself a favor and join an incredible movement, uh, you can go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. It's a, it's a movement, which ironically is just me not moving at all in this computer chair and, you know, like crying about things on the internet. It's gonna, it, it's, believe me, it's, it's a real, it's, you basically an activist. You're an activist for, you're an act for good. You're an active, you're an activist for change in the world by subscribing. I love you so much. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, also, don't forget to uh, do me a favor and surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, and hip thrust that motherfucking like button before you go. That would mean the world to me as well. We'll see you soon. Peace. Yeah.